Hello, everybody. Welcome to the wonderful world of me. <laughs> oh, today, today, today. This week has been hilarious. Being the mother of two teenage children has... I'm learning something new every day. You think that you're ready and you think that you know stuff. And then something else happens and you be like, oh, I hear you. Today it wasn't my daughter. Me, I think me and my daughter, we had a, a really good heart to heart last night. We talked things out. It seems like we're going to get everything right. We're not going to have any issues. But with my son, I got a phone call today from the school about my son. My phone never rings about my son. My son is very quiet, very meek. Keeps to himself, does his work. Real good student. You have to push him. He has nasty attitudes. I know this. I know my children. But he doesn't come off that way in school because he just go. He knows his role in school is to go to school and get the job done. Period. Point blank. Because mama don't play that. Well, today his house administrator, Mr. Williams, called me, and he's like, Miss Powell, um. Demetrius has been having an issue with this little boy. They had an issue that carried over from last year to where they were walking home slapboxing each other last year, and now it's carried over to this year to where now they want to fight each other and do it again this year. Now, the little slapboxing incident was just fun. They were playing. But I guess it got serious, and they were talking about each other, and they walk home from school every day together background information I live on one side of town my son goes to school on another side of town so in turn Monday through Friday he's with my mom now my mom lives like right down the street from the school because he didn't want to transfer his schools because of uh, the academic programs that they have at that school will uh, give him uh, a bit, pretty much better education so he's over there and um, he has been walking home with this little boy and so today I guess they had planned to fight each other I looked at his Facebook last night he has Facebook account and it's linked up to my to to where you know it says that he's my son on there so his updates come through to my page and stuff so I'm like what is this it's saying something to the effect of you know it's sad that people have to talk about you behind your back and talk about how they're gonna jump you and then it don't be about what they saying. And I'm like, why is he putting this on here? And in my mind, I'm like, something's going on. As parents, it's my first instinct is something's going on. I know my son. He doesn't really say anything. He'll bother nobody, really. But when provoked, he can be a deadly, deadly thing. Because we all have attitudes, me <laughs> included. And we're from the north side. It's in it. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, the north side of Jacksonville is, we from the hood. Um, but when it comes down to it, though, he's been taught better, he knows better, and mama, he knows that I don't play that nonsense. So I'm like, well, what is going on? So he, Mr. Williams, puts Demetrius on the phone. I said, well, Demetrius, what's the situation? Because I always give them an opportunity to voice what's going on. They can, uh, uh, defend themselves. Whatever they have to say, they need to say it to me. I'm not going to interrupt. I want you to talk and tell me exactly what's going on. He gets on the phone, nothing. I don't know. I said, well, what's the little boy's name? I don't know his name. I said, you don't know his name? So I'm like, well, I was like, he's saying he don't know the boy. He said, it's come out since last year, and it's the same little boy. And I know, I'm thinking, okay, this little boy lying to me. Okay. So I said, okay, Demetrius. I said, fine. So I get the administrator back on the line. I said, I'll be there at the school at 1230. I'd already planned on going to the school because I was bringing the um, eighth grade um, secretary lunch, which is what I do. I'm a good mommy. I'm a parent that likes to be in the school. So um, I was like, I'm going to take her lunch today. So um, I'll be there at 1230. And he was like, that's fine. He was like, I, I, like, I, I told him you know, that I had already talked to Demetrius. His first thing that he has to do, if someone tries to 
to attack him or whatever today, he needs to let an administrator or a teacher know immediately. Now, if they try to wail on him and jump him, he has to defend himself. That's a different story. But, you know, we all agreed on that. But like I said, that and as a parent, I'll just pick him up from school so that we can squash this whole thing. And then there's no, they don't have to be alone walking home or whatever. I'm taking that initiative and go ahead and I'll just start picking him up from team up in the afternoon so that there's no room for anything to brew or happen. So, you know, we we talked about that and I'm just like, Demetrius will be put under punishment today, but he's not being put under punishment because of the fact that he was, that he was, I guess they were going beefing, going back and forth him and the little boy, he's being put under punishment because he lied to me when I was asking him what was going on. Rather than being forthcoming and truthful with me, he chose to do his own thing and not tell me what was going on. So, therefore, he's going to get in trouble. Point blank period. I don't think I'm wrong as a parent. I think he's going to have to learn. He needs to speak up and say what's going on. I can't help you unless you tell me. I saw Demetrius yesterday. I was at the school yesterday. And he didn't know I was coming to the school today. So, that was funny when I got there. But... He said nothing to me about any type of situation. I even took him up, I mean, a boatload of goodies to my mom's house and stuff. I have the, I, I'm, I have the right mind to just say no. But what he doesn't know is that I spoke with his father and he's going to his father's house for a whole week. He can't do nothing over there. He had good at grandma's house. He can't do nothing at his dad's house whatsoever at all. So that's going to be a hard week for him to, to quote unquote suffer through. But when I got to the school today, it's, I, it's just crazy. I know so many children and their parents that when I walk in the school, it's like I, I went to Miss Day's office to take her lunch and stuff, which she was very, very happy with. Um, my godson, he pops up and he's like, hey, hey. I was like, well, why are your shirt not tucked in? Because Ms. Davis like, get out of my office. She don't play that. They have uniforms that they have to wear. And their shirt, young men have to tuck their shirts in. Because why is your shirt not tucked in? You need to get it tucked in. Why are those shoes not tied? I don't like my shoes tied. Um, no. They know the rules. But they try to get away. They did not anticipate me being there. My son caught him in the hallway. I didn't even go to his class. Caught him in the hallway. He didn't have a clue. I was there. <gasps> And I had a little talk with him. And then some other kids, they want to do what they want to do. I know your mom and daddy, and I know darn well they're not going to let you walk around looking like that. You never know what your children are doing at school. I don't put nothing by my kids. That I, I mean, I won't never say they, they will or they won't because you never know what's going on unless you're active in, in the schools. And I'd be there almost every other day. I make time in my schedule to get there because... I don't want them to know when they expect me. I'll pop up on them in a minute. I don't play in and I want the people that are in the school to understand. Yes, I'm young. Yes, I am single. And yes, I am black. But just because I have those things going on with me, which pe most people assume are negatives, does not mean that I don't care about my kids. I am a good mother and parent. I mean, they, but people make assumptions about that. I'm always in the school. But that's all I had to talk about today. My classes are going great. Everything is going pretty good with me. I will be so happy uh, at the end of the month because I'll finally, finally, finally be able to um, uh, get my travel thing started like I want to where I can uh, rotate my weekends and go like certain places on a regular basis. So I'm looking forward to that because I, I need, I need, I need that. I really need that. But that's all I had to, to babble about today. But I don't think I'm wrong for putting Demetrius under punishment. Um, Brianna, she going to do better. I mean, both of my kids are going to be successful and they're going to be okay. I know this because I am there and I'm involved. But mom got to vent somehow. And uh, I don't want to be the evil mama, but I'm not going to be walked over either. 
Y'all have a great, safe, beautifully blessed weekend. Bye.